We were told our son had a fatal genetic disorder, and when my wife refused to abort, the doctor sneered. What are you, religious? He's a healthy seven-month-old now and currently asleep on my shoulder. No genetic issues, though he was born premature and spent some time in the NICU. Aww, Spirit Life! Hey, I'm Bruce on Spirit Life on the 40 Days of Life, and the story I just read is actually not uncommon. There's a lot of times where a mom was given a false diagnosis, told to abort, she kept her baby anyway, and the baby was totally fine. It was a false diagnosis or a mistake. Doctors make mistakes. I love doctors. I love the medical field. Medical science has done wonders, but it's not a perfect science. And so we don't need to always trust the bad report. Besides, even when there's a 100% chance that the baby will be born with some sort of defect or something, does that mean we should start aborting for everyone that has any little flaw? Should we abort girls like they do in China because they'd rather have a boy? What if you could determine whether the baby had the gay gene? Would you abort the baby if you didn't want them to be homosexual? This is eugenics, the same thing that Hitler tried to do with Nazi Germany. And if we don't learn from the past, we're doomed to repeat it. This generation is pro-life because we know that we can't start judging who's fit to be born and who's not.